Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and today I'm going to put an SSD in place of my old slow hard drive in my laptop. For this we're obviously going to use an SSD as well as a hard drive enclosure. The reason for this will become clear as we progress in the video. You may also want to have a knife as well just in case you want to kill somebody or open a few boxes. Okay, so unboxing the enclosure now. All this does is allow you to put a hard drive in there that would otherwise be an internal one to allow you to use it as an external hard drive, or in this case, allow us to clone a hard drive onto an SSD. So just unpack it and slide the SSD directly into the hard drive enclosure. With the SSD in the enclosure, just go ahead and connect it to your PC, just as you would with an external hard drive. Now open up Acronis True Image 2016, go to Tools and then click on Clone Disk. It's then going to ask you for a source, which will be your hard drive you're looking to clone over to the new SSD. Click on Automatic, then click Next. Then you'll see the hard drive we're looking to clone. Click on it, then click Next. Acronis will then look for the destination drives. Just give this a while and it'll do its thing. And now we can see the listing under disk 2 and it's connected via USB. That is correct because we have the SSD in the enclosure connected via USB. So click on disk 2 and then click on next. It's then going to bring you to a summary page just so you can be sure of what disks you're cloning to what disk. Just to be absolutely sure because these are the sort of things you don't want to be messing around with unless you're absolutely sure when and where it's going. But if you're sure, click on proceed. And then Acronis will then go ahead, find the partitions, clone them and put them to the destination. I found for me, this took about 45 minutes, could take you 10 minutes. It all depends on the speed of the hard drives that you're cloning and the ones that you're cloning to, etc, etc, etc. It normally asks you for a restart, then boots directly into the Acronis software to continue the cloning. Once it's cloned, the system will shut down. Okay, so this is doing its thing. It's going to take about 28 minutes to clone the hard drive that sat in the laptop onto the SSD, which we've temporarily put in the enclosure here. So we've just gone onto Acronis, selected clone. We've clicked on the hard drive that's inbuilt into this laptop and we're cloning it onto there. So the next stage, once it's finished, is to take the hard drive out of the laptop, put the SSD in it. Then I'm going to put the hard drive that was in the laptop into the enclosure to act as an external hard drive just for file storage and things that don't need constant read and write which won't affect the speed. As Acronis has completed the cloning of the old hard drive, go ahead and remove it from your laptop, taking care to put all the screws to one side because you don't want to lose one of the last screws on there because that can get really annoying. Anyway, so you can see you've got the small laptop hard drive here along with the bracket. Remove the bracket from the already existing hard drive because this is the bracket we're going to use to place the new SSD in. Place all the connectors onto the SSD, slide it into the bracket that we had originally with the hard drive, screw the screws together and place back in your laptop just as your old hard drive was. Because in theory, if done correctly, your laptop should now boot into this new solid state drive because it will identify it the same way it did the old one, hence the cloning. It shouldn't be any different, you should have all your files on there, you should have your login details, everything. Nothing should have changed according to the hard drive, except the hardware itself. So the SSD is now installed in the machine. I'm now going to boot the machine up with purely the SSD in. The original hard drive has been completely removed. The clone works successfully. So, before my PC took about 10 minutes to boot up, and now we're going to test it. First of all, I'd just like to say I'm going to consider this a boot up when the Skype login sound plays. So here we go. Remember, previous time was around 10 minutes and I'm not exaggerating. So there's a login screen, temporary password, OK.
There we go. That is like a new machine to me. That's just incredible. Such a massive difference in startup time. I'm so pleased with that. This isn't like the top of the range SSD in there either. It's like pretty low range, if I'm not going to lie. Brilliant, massive improvement. Now the next step is to put the enclosure and combine it with the old hard drive to make it accessible as an external one. So all we do for that is plug the old hard drive into the enclosure, put it all together, plug it in the USB and see if we can access it. Job done. And that's how you install an SSD into a laptop after cloning from the original source. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions.